Um, I'm going to give you a few problems today where I want you to identify what the inequality is that represents the graph that you look at. So let's look first at this graph here. When I look at this, is the symbol going to have an equal to or just be an inequality? Okay. And when I look at where it's shaded, is this going to be greater than or less than? It's less than. So I'm going to start with y is less than, not less than or equal to. And then we have to figure out what the slope is and where the y-intercept is. So when I look at this, if you guys want to get this your book out so it's a little easier, it's on page 166. It looks like it's going through the origin, doesn't it? So our plus b is going to be plus 0. But what's our slope? I see that point here, and I see another point here. So I'm rising up how much? And I'm running across three times, and the line is positive, right? So this is going to be 3x, and if you want to keep track of it, you could put plus 0, or it's just y is less than 3x. Make sense? Okay, take a look at b and see if you can come up with what it is. Some questions to think about. Is it a positive or negative line? Is it a solid or dashed line? Where is the shading? Okay, I'm hearing some murmurings. What kind of symbol am I going to put here for this line? It's, is this greater than or less than? Less than, because it's shaded to the left which would be below right so it's na it's less than or equal to because it's a solid line it's a negative slope and so we've got a point here and another point here what's the difference one two and the run is one so what's our slope negative 2x and where does it cross the line the y-axis plus one. You guys feel okay trying that? Yeah. Okay. Then I am going to go ahead and have you do some problems. If you turn to page 168, you're going to use the last six graphs that you have to do problems 18 to 23. Graphing. And then I want you to do 24, 25, 26, 27. And my guess is on your paper at the bottom, you'll have room to write those inequalities. Okay, so let's number this. This one here is going to be number 18, 19. When you do them, you're going to write the inequality as your title. On the back of the paper, we're doing 20, 21, 22, and 23. I'll zoom out so you can see. Oops, can't zoom out. So that's how I numbered them. And then at the bottom of the page, I want you guys doing 24, 25, 26, and 27. So those are four where you're looking at graphs and you're writing what the inequality that's graphed is. Okay? That's our practice today. I'm going to write on here that this starts on page 168, and we're doing numbers 18 through 27.